Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance, and today we'll take a look at Nishida Radio's Uni S Disc 20, uh, which is an SD card reader for the Apple IIe and Apple II. And we'll see how to put disc images on it and how to transfer disc images off of it and finally how to set it all up. So let's get started. So today we're going to take a look at using the Uni S Disc Air 20, which I just got in the mail from Nishida Radio in Japan. And I actually got both a um, Air 20 and an Air C, but today we'll just concentrate on the Air 20. Um, so here it is, and I've actually already opened it before, but so this is a SD card reader for the Apple II Plus 2E um, and it the unique thing is it actually uses a flash air card so you have to buy a flash air card separately so this is just an SD card that has a uh, Wi-Fi uh, station inside of it and so you can actually hook up remotely to the um, UniS disk and control the disk image that you're using uh, from your phone or from a laptop or anything else connected to your wireless network. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to hook this up and then we'll try it out in the Apple IIe. So first thing it comes with the obviously the controller board itself which has uh, two 20 pin uh, connectors so one of these will actually go to the Disc 2 card in the Apple IIe, and the other one you can hook up to uh, a real Disc 2, um, and we'll go ahead and do that. And it comes with two cables, so there's a ribbon cable, and this goes from the uh, UniS Disc card to the Disc 2 card, and then it comes with a separate little cable, and this is what we need to actually control the disc, uh, the second disk drive on the Apple IIe. Okay, so here's the UniS Disk 20 installed in the Apple IIe. Um, so you can see I have my Disk 2 controller card here in slot 6. Uh, here's the ribbon cable uh, going to the uh, UniS Disk. Uh, down below, connected to the second disk drive, is that little tiny cable with just a single wire. Um, they run out the back, and then I've got them connected to the UniS Disk Air 20 over here on the side. And then I've also got my real floppy disk to uh, connector attached here into the drive 2. Um, you could just mount this inside the 2E uh, because you don't actually need, once you get the flash uh, the flash card all set up you don't actually need to access it but I'm going to leave it out now so we can just see the blinking lights. Uh, so now I'll put the lid on and then we'll install the software on the SD card and try it out. Alright so now we're going to follow the instructions over on Nishidi Radio's uh, excellent website and we have the Uni S Disk Air 20, um, so you can just follow along in these instructions and it tells you how to set up everything. I made a few changes along the way, so I'll just go through what I did. So I've already inserted the uh, SD card. I'm going to go ahead and rename it, and I'll call it Apple IIe. And uh, now one thing we want to do, there's a hidden folder in here called uh, something like SD ROM or something like that and we actually want to be able to see this so I'm gonna go over to the terminal and I'll change to uh, let's see Apple IIe and let's see uh, there it is SDW uh, LAN so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use um, the change flags command to make it no hidden and you can see now back over in the finder we can now see that folder and so what we want to do is go in here and we actually want to drop all of our um, UniS disk driver files into here so if we go in here there's not much in there but um, we can actually go over and this is the archive that you can download from uh, Nishida, Nishida Radio's website and all you need to do is take everything in the web app folder so we'll copy all of that and we'll put it into this SDWLAN directory um, now a couple things I wanted to do is actually I wanted to change the font just to make it a little bit easier to read um, it's kinda cool it has this 
uh, old school console font but with the lines through it, but it's kind of hard to read, especially if you're going to do some video. So I actually modified uh, the list.htm to use um, my own web fonts. So we're going to put those in and those, um, I just downloaded those from somewhere else on the web. And so that's print char 21 and PR number three. Um, so we're going to put those in here instead. And then I also changed the disk drive image because I wanted it to look like an old disk two uh, rather than the more modern uh, disk image. So we're going to paste that in here. Um, and you don't have to do this. This is just bonus. So the next thing we need to do is configure the SD card to actually make it into like a just another wireless, um, uh, not an access point, but we actually want it to be a uh, in station mode. And so if you go over to Toshiba's uh, website, they talk about how to configure the SD card for station mode. Um, normally, it's just an access mode and that, or access point, and that means you actually need to change your. Um, if you want to hook up to the SD card wirelessly, you have to actually say on your Mac change to use that wireless server of the card instead of like your normal base station. So instead, we're just going to make the card hook up to our own wireless network. And the easiest way to do this is over in the terminal window, um, and we're doing this on a Mac, but doesn't really matter. Uh, the process would be more or less the same on a, a Windows box. Um, so inside the SDW LAN directory, there is a file called config, and we just need to make some changes to that. So we'll just VI that, and we're just going to tell it that we want to use um, app mode equal 5, which indicates station mode. Uh, app name is the name of the uh, wireless card, so that's Apple 2E. Um, and we're going to do the app SSID, and this is your, uh, your own wireless network. Um, so I'll put that in in a minute after um, I stop the video, and then we'll do our app network key, and this is your password for your network. Um, whatever it happens to be. And then finally, the last thing we'll do is we'll say upload equal one. And this allows the SD card to uh, have files uploaded to it instead of just downloaded. Normally, you'd use one of these SD cards for, say, a camera where you'd just be taking pictures off of it. But we actually want to be able to upload disk images to it. Um, and that should be all we need to change in here. Oh, let's delete this old. Um, app mode thing and we don't want this app network key um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video for a minute fill in my app SSID and app network key um, just so they're hidden and then we will go ahead and take the SD card out and put it into the Apple IIe um, and fire it up and see if we can connect to it so now we can plug the SD card into the UniS disk uh, uh, controller card and fire up the Apple. Okay, uh, so we don't have any disk images on there yet, so the first thing we need to do is actually put some disk images on. And to do this, we'll go back over to the Mac and we'll fire up the um, web browser to our UniS disk. And remember, we called it Apple 2E. Um, so since we're on a Mac, we add .local and we just go to this page. And here it is. So you can see there's a lot of different things we can do here. Um, on the right hand side is all the list of the uh, disk files um, and all the other files on the SD card. We don't have any disk images right now. Um, these here at the top are just filters. So if we did have some disk images, it would show only the .dsk or .pos. Um, here's drive one, here's drive two, drive one, drive two. Um, there's some buttons. We can also turn on write protect for the disk image. We can click this to make it use the real uh, five and a quarter inch disk drive. And um, same thing for disk number two. And then here down there, we can delete files uh, on the SD card. We can make a new uh, subdirectory um, and we can change into a subdirectory. You can also just double click uh, over here to get into a subdirectory and then double click the dot to go back up. 
Um, and then finally, we can upload new disk images down here, uh, or we can download disk images that are on there. So, and then at the very bottom, you can change this from either a disk two or a uh, smart port. We can't actually use the smart port on the Apple IIe because it doesn't have the, um, we're just using the regular disk two controller card. Uh, if we had an Apple IIc, then we could uh, change this to a uh, to use the smart port. So we're using a disk two, and let's go ahead and upload a disk image. Um, so what I want to do, we'll choose a file, and I'll just go in here and let's pick, for example, something. Let's say we're going to play Castle Wolfenstein. Um, we click upload. And you can see this is now available on the right hand side. So what we can do is click on the disk image and then click on the disk drive and it'll load it up into the disk drive. And so you can see there it is. And you can see that it actually uh, already rebooted and it comes up in Castle Wolfenstein. Um, so it works just like a disk image now. And we can go ahead and play the game. Um, and so let's pretend we play the game and we want to actually save, uh, say where we are or something like that. Um, so we're right now we're playing at the, the rank of Colonel and let's say we finish the game and we finish up as a general or something like that. Then we would want to actually download the disc image back uh, to the Mac for safekeeping. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we successfully escaped with the plans and moved up in rank from Colonel to General. And so we want to save a copy of this disk image back to our PC uh, for safekeeping. So what we do is connect uh, to the uh, UniS Disk Air. And to do this, we need to, uh, first of all, convert the NIC format. This is an internal format the UniS Disk uses. We need to convert this NIC format back, uh, back into a disk image. Uh, so we click on the NIC, uh, we hit right back, and that converts it back to the DSK. And then what we do is just click on our disk image and click download. And you can see it did something. And if we go over to the finder and look at our desktop, here is our kernel disk with our new rank. And we'll probably want to rename this to general or something. Um, and now we can put it away and keep it safe. Uh, so, in general, when using the UniS Disk Air, what you would probably do is uh, use the um, web tool here on a PC to upload a whole bunch of disk images, or you could even just do it straight to the SD card by plugging it in. Um, and then once you have all of your disk images on the UniS Disk Air, then you can just put it inside the uh, Apple IIe and hook up to it with your phone. Um, or with your PC and change disk images at will. Uh, you could download disk images back to your PC um, if you've made changes and just generally use it as a great big library of disk images. And the cool thing is, is you can also just use your regular uh, five and a quarter inch real floppy disk drive as disk one or disk two as well. Uh, so it's really versatile. So next time maybe I'll cover how to use the uh, UniS Disk Air with the Apple IIc. So thanks for watching.